just for people who don't know me, my name's Sharon Briggs. I'm um, running as a candidate in our local election. The reasons why I got involved and why I'm running now in um, what we could say is politics, because I can see that this country is in such a mess. And out of the back of the Celtic Tiger, we got this disastrous bank bailout. We've had things like property tax being introduced. We've had cuts in public services. We've seen job losses. We've seen uh, evictions on people's homes increase, we've seen homelessness increase. And all the while, the people who caused this mess are still getting away with it. I think we're not living in an equal society and we need to do something about it. And I do hope that people will stand up, especially people in the working class people who are struggling and got hit the hardest. And I do hope that after watching this video and hearing on other issues that we do fight on, that people will take up this challenge. Please join us and um, join the fight find your place and find your voice. My name is June Maher. Uh, two years ago, my children and I, and hundreds of other families just like us, had our rent allowance slashed without prior warning. Those of us on the social housing list are even more at peril because there's no budget at the moment for the construction of social housing. I found myself at a campaign against household and water taxes meeting where I encountered a bunch of wonderful people because they were actually doing something about this. We're in a crisis here and now. It's wrong, it's fixable, and I believe the people before profit are the ones that are going to take care of this. Hello, my name is Philip O'Duffy, and uh, I'm a pensioner. I'm practically down to the wire now as regards uh, being able to pay for things. But I'm much more scared of being robbed by the government I am, than I am by burglars coming into the house. I'm on essential medications, one is for for blood pressure. The increase in my um, prescription charge is 500%. Why don't they like tax the rich who can afford it? We can't afford it and so hands off the less the lesser well off people. I'm Margaret Moynihan. This government is very complacent now about all the revenue they've generated by the property tax. But unfortunate homeowners are not complacent because it's an unfair tax on the family home. Arrears mount up at 8% per annum. People don't want to leave big debts behind on the family home on their families. My name is Patricia O'Leary and I joined People Before Profit when our Minister for Health announced that he was downgrading our 24-hour A&E at Lockenstown Hospital. People Before Profit Alliance responded directly and organised a campaign against this decision. There was marches and rallies outside the hospital and Sharon Briggs from Bray herself organised a car cavalcade from Bray. We also ran a successful postcard campaign. Our 24-hour uh, local a and &E is a vital service for the people of Bray and wider communities and without it, lives will be lost. Hello, my name is Jack Hill. I joined Pim Before Profit because I'm, I'm the shop steward in Siptu and Siptu, unfortunately, the leadership is linked to the Labour Party in Ireland at the moment and they actually are cutting back on all, all our services and, and now I'm calling on all the people and even the trade unions movement to support the people before profit. My name's Eve Donny. I joined the people before profit because of the LGBT community because it was not one in Bray. I joined it because myself I thought it was an, it's just a very important part in, the, in part of this life as well as the LGBT. I have full support of full support of the people for profit. I just hope from what we've just said and the people that spoke that are part of our badge, people for profit here by gives you an idea about what we're about. On 23rd of May, please vote Sharon Briggs number one.